Today, I'm gonna show you how to take video like this and place it inside text like this. This is a very simple effect that can be done in just a few seconds. Stay tuned to the end because I'm gonna show you a few bonus features that'll take you from amateur to pro. Anyway, without further ado, let the education begin. Cineguac. First thing you wanna do is drag your video clip onto your timeline. As you can see, I have this beautiful clip of the sun shining through a snowy branch. This will be the video that we place inside our text. Let's head over to the type tool and click anywhere on your playback monitor so that we can type our text. Let's just go ahead and type text. Now let's head over to workspaces and click on captions and graphics. Here we can edit the size and font of our text. Highlight your text so that we can apply some adjustments and let's change the font to something thicker. The girthier, the better. And then let's head over here and crank up the font size to whatever looks good. That looks pretty good. Hit the selection tool so that we can easily click and drag our text layer to wherever we want. Of course, if you want precision, you can always just click on these vertical and horizontal align buttons, which will align the text for you automatically on the X and Y axes. Let's just click and drag both ends of our text layer so that it lasts for the same exact duration as our video clip. Head over to the effects library and search for an effect called track mat key. Drag the track mat key effect directly onto your video clip. Not the text layer, but the video clip. And with the video clip selected, head on up to effect controls. Go to your track mat key settings, and right here where it says mat, click this little drop down menu. From here, you're going to select the video layer that your text layer is currently on. In this case, the text layer is on video track 2, so let's select video 2. The moment we do that, you'll see our video is now inside the text. Sure, you could just stop here, but then you're going to miss out on the bonus stuff. This is how you really take this effect to the next level and make your title look super professional. We're going to add this zoom effect, add some cinematic reflection at the bottom, and then lastly, add this beautiful 3D swivel and tilt effect. Here we go. Let's begin with the cross zoom. With your text layer selected, let's move on up to effect controls and align our playhead one or two seconds into the clip. This will be the final landing destination of our cross zoom. Set a keyframe for both position and scale. Now drag your playhead all the way to the very beginning of your clip and increase the scale until the majority of the frame is filled with the video clip. Then slide the position over on the X axis to make sure the entire frame is filled. You can keep going back and forth toggling the scale and position until the entire frame is filled with the original video clip. Once you're done, highlight the first two keyframes you created, right click, go to Temporal Interpolation, and select Ease In. Play that through and you now have a beautiful cinematic cross zoom. Okay, now it's time to add a cinematic reflection to really make the title pop. Head over to the effects library and search for an effect called mirror. Drag the mirror effect directly onto your title layer. With your title layer selected, head over to effect controls and under your mirror settings, change the reflection angle to 90 degrees. Slide the Y axis over until there's a tiny little sliver of space between the original text and the reflection. That looks pretty good. Once you're done, click on this Create Point Polygon Mask button so that we can create a square mask. Head over to your playback monitor and align each point of the square around your text so that you can no longer see the reflection at the bottom. Then, head back over to your mirror settings in Effect Controls and crank up the mask feather somewhere around here. Play that all back and you'll see we now have this cinematic reflection under our title. Now, 
here's how we make our text graphics swivel in a three-dimensional space. Head over to the effects library and search for an effect called Basic 3D. Drag the Basic 3D effect onto your text layer. With your text layer selected, head up to Effect Controls. Here you can adjust your Basic 3D settings and play around with Swivel, which does this, and Tilt, which does that. Let's just undo that so that we're back to zero. And let's drag our playhead to a part of the clip where we want our Basic 3D Swivel effect to begin. Let's begin somewhere around where the cross zoom effect ends. And let's hit this toggle animation button to create a keyframe here. Then let's go all the way to the end of our clip and increase the swivel value until it's turned around however many times you want. I think two is enough. Play that all back and your mind is blown. Now, if at any point you want to cut to or fade to an entirely different video clip, but keep the text on screen, all you have to do is change out the video clip on Video Layer 1. So, for example, we could just drag this drone shot onto the timeline, and then copy and paste our track mat key effect from the original video clip. Or you could just drag and drop the effect from your effects library. Now you'll see we have a hard cut between these two video clips, which you can either leave as is, or add any kind of transition between them. If you want to learn how to make a four color gradient transition, you can watch my other video on adding video inside text. I'll leave a link to that in the description below. Thanks for watching, hopefully you learned a thing or two. As always, these videos take a really long time to put together, so show me some love, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you next time. Thank you.